So right here I need to uh, grab these brake lines I made and see if I can't get them bent. I'm trying to install this uh, brake combination brake valve. I've got these pliers from Harbor Freight. They're just uh, they're ten bucks. They're enable you to bend three sixteenths and one quarter inch, I think, brake line. So I got some 90 degree angles to bend on these two coming from the master cylinder. Pliers work pretty good for that. They work a lot better than I thought they would. A little rough on your hands though. It takes some squeezing power and uh, there's not much cushion on the grips and it, it hurts, but that's why I got the gloves on. A little extra cushion. I'm going to bend these down at 90 degrees to go down to that valve and then I want to try to put a little loop in there. Uh, don't know what hell, I don't know how well that loop's going to be able to be bent. Uh, I'm going to try to do that with the vise. We'll see how that goes. So that bent okay. It's the first time I've ever did a voiceover. Here's a second video I put in there on this one and uh, just showing my vise and a big long 3 8 extension. I'm going to use it to kind of put a loop in this brake line and see how it works. I was told to put a loop in here to uh, kind of help with the tension. Um, I don't see there being much tension on this brake line running from the master cylinder down to that valve, but I guess I'll go with what the professionals recommend. But I end up not being happy with those loops, just to let you know. I mean, they work. That method I used to bend them worked okay, but uh, I don't know. Just weren't too happy about it. I think I'm gonna try to remake them and instead of uh, manually bending the loops with the this extension and the vise. I'm gonna try to use the uh, Harbor Freight bendy pliers and just kind of make a few bends here and there and see how that works. On one of these bends, it kind of, it didn't kink it, but it, uh, it bent it enough to where I don't like it. I'm not happy with it. I had someone also tell me I could put a little heat on that brake line, but I don't want to heat those brake lines up. So here I am screwing them in to the master cylinder just to kind of get an idea there how how much room I'm going to have and everything. I mean, it works. Everything went pretty smooth. It was just a couple of the bends I didn't really care for too much and. So it's enough to where I want to redo them. I don't want to take a chance, especially when it comes to safety and, and to brakes, you know. I don't care if you have to do it 50 times, you know, do it right. I've got a big old roll of that tubing, so it was cheap enough. It's like 18 bucks off of uh, Amazon, which is pretty pretty decent price, really. For uh, 25 feet of the uh, 316 brake line, and the fittings I'm using, I just cleaned up with the wire wheel on the bench grinder, and uh, they look to be in good shape, so I just reuse them. 
got to save money where you can, right? Here I'm just putting a little bit of a bend on there, trying to persuade it a little bit. The valve itself looks pretty good. It came with, uh, I got it from Summit. Uh, it came with uh, the sensor and uh, it came with a, a new uh, connector for the sensor that you have to, uh, on mine I'm going to have to cut the wire off the originals uh, and twist them together and make it a one wire. But it, it did come with two uh, two uh, tubes, brake lines, brake hose tubes there, or master cylinder tubes, whatever you want to call them. But they were just too short, and, and I think it was made for like a Chevrolet. And uh, of course this is a Ford, so the valve will work. It's pretty much the same kind of a valve. It's just uh, the lines were just too short for where I wanted to mount it. But basically it's just a long drawn out video showing me putting these two lines on here and it'll work I mean it's good but I'm going to redo them I just ain't happy with it I just wanted to make this video and just I don't know maybe show you my process I'm also mounting this valve up high too, just right under the master cylinder. It makes it easier to bleed and replace because these these ones that are uh, that you buy that you buy nowadays are they're, they're all made overseas, pretty much. And I heard they don't have a good uh, reliability rate. You have to replace them every so often, and I don't want to be. Uh, down there between the headers laying on the ground trying to break this thing loose to replace it so that's why I decided to move it up I'm pretty happy with that I mean it looks like it's gonna be okay I, but I think I may just uh,